Good morning, Northwest. The flag says it all. The winds are blowing and the rain's coming down. We'll have more on your forecast coming up. And some Texas parents are horrified this morning over what turned up in brownies meant for a high school dance team. What a rival team is accused of putting in those baked goods. That's coming up. And first responders say this bracelet can save precious time when arriving at an emergency site. Straight ahead, the cost of this potentially life-saving device. Plus, snow is falling in the hills. Are you ready for ski and snowboard season? And guess what? I'm feeling pretty core this morning. What that means straight ahead. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest. Live from the KXLY 4 HD Broadcast Center in downtown Spokane, you're waking up with Good Morning Northwest HD. Cherson looks so styling this morning. I want to know what core means. I, my <laughs> guess is that it's short for hardcore, but ah. I don't know. It will be, I'm interested to find out. You know I know nothing about skiing, but I'm glad that you're with us. I'm Mike Gonzalez. It is Wednesday morning. It's over the hump day. You know it's my favorite day. Mm -hmm. Let's <laughs> toss it out to Mark Peterson. He's at the Extreme Team Project with your HD forecast. It's my favorite day, too, because we're working inside. If we were doing a roofing project right now, now there's two inches of new snow. It's Schweitzer Mountain from yesterday, and more mountain snow is expected in the forecast this week and next week. Take a look at this photo they sent us yesterday. So, skiers, are you ready? I know that KXLY 4's Cherson Ramsing is ready. She is live at Alpine House this morning with what you need to do to get ready for the mountain. Good morning. Good morning to you, and we are talking it on um, back to you. <laughs> All right, you're looking so core now that I know what that means. Thanks, Jefferson. Appreciate it. Well, local ski resorts are all getting ready for the 2008-2009 season. Lookout has adult season passes for finding a place to stay around the Washington, D.C. area during Barack Obama's inauguration will take piles of cash or a lot of creativity. Hotel operators began booking rooms several months ago, and many are already full. There's a waiting list at the hotel where Martin Luther King finished writing his I Have a Dream speech. Rooms there are going for $949 a night with a four-day stay requirement. Others are turning to Craigslist to crash at a resident's home for roughly $850 a night. There's another option for those with some deep pockets. The Hyatt Regency on Capitol Hill still has... $25,000 inauguration package is available in the Grand Presidential Suite. Wow. Well, the search for a new puppy continues for the Obama family this morning. But names are already being suggested for the next White House dog. A new MSN poll shows that the top choice for names are Hope, <laughs> followed by Lucky, and Change. Now, Sarah came in number four on the list, and less popular suggestion that we kind of like is Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. That's, that's probably the I'm only a, name on there that I like. Yeah, I like that one too. That, that's our favorites right here on Good Morning Northwest. Abraham Lincoln. Very <laughs> creative. Well, Senator John McCain appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno on Tuesday. It was his very first interview since the campaign ended. The two discussed Veterans Day, his campaign, Sarah Palin, and a few other topics. When asked what he's been up to since the campaign ended, McCain took a crack at himself. Well, I've been sleeping like a baby. Yeah. Um, sleep two hours, wake up and cry. Sleep two hours, wake up and cry. Senator McCain expressed his support in ending bipartisanship in order to right the economy. He told Jay Leno it was a great honor to run and he has the utmost respect for President-elect Obama. One of Idaho's richest men is selling off the largest pleasure boat to ever cruise on Lake Coeur d'Alene. Hotel owner and publisher Dwayne Hagedon is parting ways with the Lola 3. 70-foot-long, three-story marquee is named after Hagedon's wife. Now, the kitchen rivals anything you'd find on land, and a glass spiral staircase leads to the bridge that has a retractable sunroof the size of a Cadillac. The Hagedons bought the yacht in May. Even though the Lola has just 50 hours on its twin diesel engines, the boat is going back on the market. Hagedon has not published his asking price, but various models are listed between three and four million dollars. This looks like a really good Christmas gift for you, uh, Kalai. I, th I think you're absolutely <laughs> right. Now, last night, Jeff Humphrey, the reporter who covered the story, says, if you have to ask the price, you can't afford yeah, it. Yeah, no question. So I'm wondering, <laughs> if you can't afford it, can you ask the price? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd have to have a staff for that thing, Mark. What if somebody were to buy that and then put a bed and breakfast right on the lake? Yeah, there you go. There's an idea. All right, hey, guys, the trash is going out of the living room. This is part of the deconstruction that happened Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and uh, that's a lot of the closet and the bathroom that's going out. And we're getting ready to have some fun as we now rebuild Wes Hickson's home. We'll have more on that in the extreme team and a forecast that's windy. All of that, yeah, right here on Good Morning Northwest. We've got a giveaway for our viewers right now. Be the fourth caller at 441-3400, and you'll win a family four-pack of tickets.